Welcome back. This is Storm. We are on my Overpock Generis server. Uh, I just want to do a quick video to show, show you guys my base. I had some requests from a few of the guys on the server. Wanted to see what the base looked like, that kind of thing. So here we go. Uh, first of all, location. I am located Willow Lake, right here. Located right here at this little corner and I expand out over top of the lake. Um, there's actually a creek bed that goes right outside my front door all the way to this little in inlet out here on the shore. There's a shipwreck right there, just for frame of reference there. Um, you can pull right in here and then little short trek through the woods, boom, front door. Pretty easy to get to, Clen being right here. It's a trading camp. For most of the servers, that's where they have a, a trading camp. So, uh, plus I'm a hero and the hero camp's there too, which makes it really convenient for me. Now, I, uh, I chose this location because I got sick of Every time I died, I'd have to run all the way back inland somewhere, you know, way, way back inland because I wanted a concealed base. Well, then I realized that it doesn't really need to be as concealed as it does secure. So I just built a more secure base closer to the uh, Berezino, obviously. Um, a lot of the action happens down by... Um, Beloda. I mean, that's where a lot of the new spawns come in and they come down here and they loot and they try to go up and so having a base over here didn't seem practical. Plus this server lets me uh, choose where I spawn in at um, and it's usually right about here in Berezino somewhere between the factory and here it'll drop me in. So it's not, a, it's not too terrible of a walk. I can come up here and through the uh, up towards Kelm and up the road and just right to my base or I can just walk completely up the uh, coast to this inlet and like I said just follow a creek bed right to my front door <coughs> excuse me so That's where I'm located, and there's a reason for why I built it on top of the lake. I had a, a uh, base that was pretty decently outside of a city, and I, <sighs> zombies walking through walls. That's the reason. Um, didn't matter if they were concrete or wood or what, they would walk through them. And your base, though it may have be secure, for other from other players it wasn't secure from zombies and I was constantly defending off zombies and I got sick of it so I came up and I did some YouTube searches and I found somebody had a base over top of actually Black Lake which is right over there somewhere and yeah the zombies that when they do spawn it's they do spawn rarely out here but when they do I mean you gotta make a lot of noise for that get get them to spawn but when they do it's usually out on the outskirts of the lake um, occasionally they'll go into the lake and swim around but they can't get in through your walls while swimming so the only way that they can walk through your walls is to walk through this one entrance into the base so that was the main reason for building out here and, and here's that in cove on the map from the map right here that's it right out there and the roads like right there and the creek I was talking about right here this creek runs from Willow Lake all the way up to the coast right next to that shipwreck so let's get into it um, outside of my base not a whole lot of sp something special here. I'll go through everything as, I'm, as I do it. Big feature of the base I like is my airlock system. Um, 
I my other base I kept getting shot as I would walk as I would open my door somebody would snipe me and then they'd have all my gear and be able to access my base well base stealing is illegal on this server but stealing out of the base isn't so they would clean out my sheds and and that kind of thing before I could make it back to my base so I I came up with this airlock system where you pull you pull vehicle in or you just walk in um, this is the only entrance from land to my base by land so you come in you lock the door behind you open this door actually let's go ahead and lock that door no, nope, wants me to unlock it, so it is locked. You come, you lock that door behind you, and then you unlock this door. That way, if anybody shoots you while you're unlocking that door over there, they don't get in. They still got to get through this door. So that, you know, that prevents that problem. Then you come in, you lock this door, then you got a garage. This. Um, was one of the big features of my de of my base that I really wanted because I got sick of pulling into a, a garage that I made and then having to back out not being able to see where I'm going that kind of thing not knowing what's outside when I backed out this way I can come in I can pull into a spot uh, I can three to four cars over there two to three over here because of the stairs and then you can get one or two in here but usually I don't have anything parked here I just got lazy and just pulled that in real quick but oh my Hummer's gone my Hummer disappeared I had an armored Hummer and it's gone oh oh well anyway yeah now you can just pull in and then back up and pull back out without a problem. But safe down here, I keep all the keys in. Used to be a lockbox. Upgraded it to a safe because I had an extra safe. Um, now, explanation for the Urals. These Urals managed to fit through the door, which was nice. This one's a refuel, this one's a repair. A repair, you just turn on and it repairs any vehicles in the vicinity, in a proximity of it. I think you have to be at least as close as this uh, BPPU is in order to get repaired. Um, the refuel truck, you have to be a bit closer, you got to be pretty much next to it, but the ignition has to be on. So you eject out of the, cog uh, the, uh, the driver's seat and then you select, you mouse wheel over the fuel truck and it'll give you the refuel option and you refuel whatever vehicles next to it so that's down here I've got a fuel pump and a generator here just in case well, I built this before I brought in the fuel trucks so that's why that's there <laughs> um, got a door here it takes me out to my Black Hawk pad since over top of the lake I need to build a double door system here I still have not done that been meaning to. I haven't decided if I want to build it inside or bring it out. I think I'll probably bring it out. But yeah, I got a Black Hawk. I can park a pretty big helicopter out here, usually. Put the sandbags around it that way it doesn't veer off as you're trying to land. If you fly, hel if you fly these helicopters, you know what I'm talking about. The closer you get to the ground, the more it seems like you want to veer left or right. So that's that. Now we'll go upstairs and show you the supply area. This is my supply area. I've got a regular supply shed here. Some crates and gun racks. This this is where I keep all my weapons and these two sheds. And that safe is where I keep the more expensive ones. And then I've got gun racks and crates over here that I keep some in too. Um, now you might wonder why I've got gun racks over here with and this is just this is just supplies. I try to keep everything pretty organized. Um, the safes they are one safe per 
type of item. Send air metal, wood, food, medical supplies, and then there's one for valuables like gold, gems, that kind of thing. Stuff I don't want to keep in a safe just in case somebody did manage to get in my base that if they took, I wouldn't be, I'd, I'd be upset about if they did take. <laughs> so I keep that st kind of stuff in safes. Um, now the reason, purpose for the gun racks over here though is the, oh, well, that access shed. Let's see if I can, there we go. The tool belt items and binoculars, night vision goggles, range finders, that kind of thing, they actually take up a gun slot. So I decided I'd build the gun racks because they hold 25 guns each. That way, wh while I'm out, I can pick up all the uh, tool belt items that I want and I'll have plenty of room for them. I had a couple crates disappear. There's one here and there's one over there that disappeared on me. Server's still working out some kinks apparently. But luckily I don't think I had anything in those. I'm still trying to sort things, that kind of stuff. So. Um, built a little angled wall here so I can put the safes up in the wall and they won't hang out the other side. Um, not that it really matters, people can't really access your safe even if they can get to it, they can't get in it unless they know the code obviously. Um, so that's that. Uh, I've got a little uh, shooter perch up here. That way, the uh, main reason I built this was in case I got somebody outside saying, Hey, Storm, let me in, let me in. Or, Storm, I'm outside. I can I can come out here and I can actually see who it is. See if they got friends, you know, kind of take a glance around and see if maybe they've got snipers in the area, that kind of thing. Just trying to get on my base, that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a cool feature that everybody likes. And all that is, is they're, they're half walls. I put a half wall here, and then I put another one over top of it, raised it up just a smidge so I could get a shooting area out, set it, and that's it. That gives me a little uh, sniper perch here. So we'll go out here onto the roof, I'll show you guys what this is all about. Now I built this, this thing here. I had to build these. I, I might go all the way around with it, because um, those right those rocks are prime pickings for snipers. But I walked out uh, walked out of here one day, and there was some dude sitting down in the woods out there, and he nailed me as soon as I walked out. Needless to say, he didn't get in my base because he didn't have a helicopter on him. If he had a helicopter, he could have landed and got in my base through the store, but. He didn't do that, but he got the kill. <laughs> so I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this. Right now it's a temporary landing pad. Uh, can land helicopters in nose first, nose towards this wall. And they fit pretty good, but th these trees, that one and that one, tend to give a little bit of problem when it comes to the, the rotors. So I try not to park down there unless I have to. Up here is where I keep my Huey. Uh, I tried to build <laughs> wood platforms here, but I exonated the project, and now I can't get rid of the liars. I just want to have to have a, have a uh, admin remove them. Sorry about that. That's my uh, text message notification. Got another uh, fuel pump up here, so I can fuel the choppers before or after I take off. Um, for those of you who don't know, these are pretty simple setups. You get the fuel pump, you set the fuel pump, you put a generator next to it because it requires power. Fuel can, you fill and start the generator. It's a, it's a scroll down option when you got a jerry can in your inventory. And it'll start the generator and then the fuel pump if you highlight over the fuel pump and scroll down, it'll say, like right now it says needs power, it'll say fill vehicle, and it'll fill whatever vehicle's in the proximity of it. Um, 
So that's that's kind of nice. Uh, before I built the second level, the one at the bottom that was along the back wall here, right next to the door for that, um, that would actually fill up the helicopters on top too, which was kind of nice, but I built it one more floor taller and now it doesn't do it. So, um, so that's about it. That, that is my base. Um, like I said, zombie free, which is nice. They do spawn out there. Occasionally I get a little target practice shooting them when they spawn. Um, another little thing is just beyond those trees. Let me pull up the map here. This little valley here. It's a great place to hunt. There's usually cows and goats, pigs that uh, spawn out there. So that's a real nice place. Uh, zombies also spawn out there too, so you got to defend yourself while you're hunting, but it's a good place to go hunting. Nice close by and don't have to worry about too much bandit activity because you're kind of concealed. Um, before I built the second level, I couldn't be, this base wouldn't show up um, if you were flying over it above 300 meters. Um, now it's more like 500 I think, something like that. So it can be seen, plus I've got lights on it, so at night this place lights up pretty good. But it's still kind of back in the woods and off the beaten path, so to speak. So people aren't going to see it right off the bat, which is kind of nice. Um, I play on a pretty friendly server, so I haven't been raided a whole lot. And there's really not a whole lot of raiding they can do. They can kill me while I'm out here on my roof. Which, okay, yeah, then they land, chopper, they get the gear I currently have on me, and then that's it. They're not getting in. Because um, I'm pretty good about locking doors behind me. That kind of thing. So, but there you go. That's Storm's base. Um... If you guys want to see me actually play, I have started a new series on a nap server, um, an overpock nap server that uh, I'm kind of getting into. So, I've never played on nap, a nap map, so it's different experience for me, not knowing where I'm going and that kind of thing. I know Chineris pretty well, but nap is a whole other experience for me. I don't know anything about it, so kind of a brand new thing for me same game brand new map makes it feel like a brand new game to me so it's kind of nice if you want to see it check that out I'll be uploading those videos pretty soon and um, if you like what you've seen please like and subscribe and follow me on twitch I, uh, I occasionally do stream I haven't streamed in a while due to my internet connect connection was downgraded but I hope to remedy that soon and get um, get back streaming. So thanks for watching. It's been fun. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys.